Hello, and welcome to Effect Skateboarding Second Blender 3D Tutorial. Now, today, I'm still using Blender 2.48a because it's the most recent version. Um, if you haven't upgraded, I recommend that you do because there's a bunch of new features or um, new features and features that have been modified and changed to benefit the users of Blender 3D. And um, I recommend you download it. So anyway, today's tutorial is on editing in Blender. Um, so why don't we get started because we have a lot to cover. So um, to go into edit mode, we're going to go down here and press uh, edit mode. Now, um, if you rotate your cube using Alt and left mouse button, you can see that it's a uh, bit transparent. You can see the, the, the vertices in the background. Um, I'll just explain this to people who don't know. The edges over here, the corners are vertices, the little dots, and this is vertices select mode. This mode is edge select mode. Select all the edges. And this mode is face select mode. You can select a bunch of faces and da 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 da. <laughs> um, I usually start off with vertices select mode and I occlude background geometry, which means our cube is not transparent as if we were in wireframe mode. So go, uh, so now we have this. Um, to go into to wireframe mode like I just did, uh, press the Z key and it automatically becomes transparent. And if you have stuff selected and you want to deselect it, you can press the A key and then to select all of it, A again. And then A again to deselect. So press numpad 7 to go back to top view or go down here to view and select top. And we're going to start off with simple editing right now. So select, uh, say, your top left vertice while you're in top mode. Press the G key and move it to, uh, you know... I don't know, uh, about positive 2 on the y, negative 2 on the x-axis, about, maybe, I'm not sure if it's positive and negative, but just move it up anywhere you want. Now, if you rotate your cube, you see, oh, wow, that vertice kind of sticks out, pretty cool. So go back in the top view, numpad 7, and, um, to undo that, you can press control Z, and, um, let's go to select a, an edge. So select our top edge and um, press the G key, press the Y key. Now, you're dragging it perfectly straight up and down on the Y axis. Now, if we go to our view, it's kind of a odd cube looking type of thing, house, chimney. Press Control Z and press numpad 7 to go back to uh, top view. Now, go into face select mode and select uh, your top face up here. So, you can rotate a little select it, press 7, and just grab it anywhere you want, doesn't matter, and then alt, left mouse button, check it out, pretty cool, so, um, control Z, undo, you're probably wondering, um, well, I only have these many, but what if I want to make, uh, something more different, like a cube with more spikes, um, well that is a tool called subdivide, um, what subdivide does, if you go under your, uh, uh, if you actually just press Alt, uh, A to select everything, you can uh, go down here and press subdivide. Uh, press it twice. Now, if you go back to vertice select mode, you have a bunch more vertices. So now your cube, instead of made of, um, let's see, one, it's like six spaces, you know, it's now made of, uh, holy crap, before it's 16 times 6, I don't know what that is. But um, there's 16 faces on one original face. So this was one original face. There's now 16. So if you go back in your top view, you can select the vertice. And if you grab it on, drag it up like this or something goofy, then you rotate and drag it again. Uh, grab this one. Just, you know, grab a couple of vertices and extrude them out. Then you can even go and do, uh, uh, well, if you want to drag, gra drag them on a straight line, you can press G. And uh, you can do Y for like uh, one direction, X for another, and Z. Uh, that would normally be up and down, but we're working at a different angle. So uh, just do that. Um, 
and I can uh, go out of edit mode for a second, check it out, what it would look like if you weren't in edit mode. Pretty cool. So press 7, go back into edit mode, and control Z to fix everything. Go back into top view, and uh, now you have, you know, subdivided. But you're probably, now, another uh, question that probably popped into your head was, uh, say I have a, a face here, but I want to drag it up, but everything else comes up with it. Can I just make something that'll just pop out straight? You can. You can press, select a face, or, uh, edge or vertice, uh, edges and faces work best, and select extrude. And now you can slide it up and down. Um, you can extrude it in or out, so I'll extrude this one out. I'll rotate a little bit, select this face, you, another shortcut is E, and extrude that one in. Now say I want to extrude multiple. Uh, select a few faces like this, or a uh, few faces on the on the same uh, side, and press E, extrude region, if they're all on the same face going in the same direction. Control Z to undo. Now say you want uh, these faces to go in different directions, this one to kind of go this way, this one to go that way, that one to go that way. Press E for extrude and press individual faces. Now they will all go their separate ways. It's kind of a shortcut if you all want them the same length. You can have them in preset increments. So you press, you know, select the face E for extrude, and they say that you want it to go up, you know, one space or two or 600, which is absolutely unnecessary, or four, you know, 10 is kind of pushing it, I guess. Depends on what you're making. Um, so, if you want to just totally erase this cube and everything, you can just press File, New, Erase All, or a shortcut for that is Control X, and then press Erase All. Also, to delete an object, you can press X. And then to add an object, Space, Add, um, Mesh for shapes and stuff, we were using a cube. So now, you have your cube back. So, um, that will pretty much conclude us for this tutorial on uh, editing. Just a nice simple little tool to help um, you know creating things also. Um, another quick tip. Um, say you have a, an object and um, it's uh, you know has a this face uh, or a, you know extruded this way and then grad in this one like that and this one like that and whatnot and it's like all, like a round shape, not even this, say it's like a round shape, but it's not round enough, so let's actually delete this, top mode, uh, let's go to UV Spear and take the segments down real low. Well now you have like a, like a blocky kind of cube here, if you go into edit mode and you press subdivide, obviously it's an odd amount, but, uh, if you smooth it out, or I think it'll smooth it out nicer than if you, uh, uh, well, not necessarily, actually, so, um, sometimes it gives you a smoother effect depending on what you're doing. So, uh, I hope this, uh, Blender 3D tutorial helped you, and, uh, get ready for my next Blender 3D tutorial. We'll figure out something, um, uh, still basic and, uh, something that everybody's gonna want to know. I will see you guys later.